Um, and Housing First initially was started uh, to address individuals or to help individuals who particularly had uh, severe mental illness or who were finding uh, mental health challenges related to housing. I'm wondering, what is the prevalence of mental health issues for people who experience homelessness? The prevalence of mental health issues in the homeless population um, is difficult to put an estimate to simply because the studies that have been conducted on this widely vary. They differ, differ in methodology, they differ in terms of where they're being conducted. And so some of those estimates of prevalence are all over the place. Um, what we can say with certainty is that the prevalence of mental health problems in the homeless population is many times higher than that of the general population. If I had to put a number on it, um, I would say a reliable estimate would be in the 40 to 50% range. Um, and I say that with recognizing other researchers um, would probably put that number higher in terms of the proportion of people in the, that are experiencing homelessness that have mental health problems. The other piece of that is recognizing that mental health problems, it covers a lot of ground. There are a lot of different mental health problems. Um, and sometimes we can think of homelessness and mental illness in terms of more serious mental illness. Um, and while that's true that people with serious mental illness are overrepresented in the homeless population, um, you can also see more common mental health problems such as depression uh, or anxiety disorders. These are, these are issues that are quite prevalent in the homeless population as well, in addition to things like substance use problems. And that's where you see um, slightly higher rates. So you're looking at about 25 to 35 percent of people experiencing homelessness might have a substance use problem. Um, and there it's important to recognize that they didn't necessarily have a substance use problem prior to their homelessness. For some people, substance use really becomes a way of coping with the reality and the hardships of homelessness and a way of getting by, getting through. And so if that same person was to exit homelessness, have affordable, safe housing, they might not continue to have a substance use problem. So there's a real dynamic to the way that mental health problems and homelessness interact.